everyone, my name is Selva. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to today's video. I hope you're doing well and having such an amazing day. So today we are going to do a tour overview of my Willow Creek base game only save file. And um, I have to say that I am very proud of this and also it took me forever to finish the whole save file um, because sometimes you got stuck with um, what to build especially when you just built using the base game but i'm very very proud of this and um without any further ado let's just hop right into the blog post so this is the blog post and as you can tell that um it's still a draft but it's almost done i just haven't published it yet so it's still uh, look as a draft but um, I have to say that I am very thrilled to share this with you because I also collaborated with three of my very very talented friends uh, to help me um, create the household and also updated the townies and those are um, Simmer Swan, Simvisor and also Melody Games so I will put every single information down below so if you'd like to I don't know maybe check them out and say hi to them or maybe you just want to follow them on any social media platforms I have the information down below oh and by the way before I forget um, the link to access this blog post is also linked in the description box below it will um, shown as a download link but it will bring you here but as you can tell that we have all of the builds filled in and um, everything is packed with brand new families and also the updated version of the existing townies and there are also couples empty houses and also the community lots so first thing first i have to mention you that there are two versions of the save file so the first one is the base game only and it will only include the willow creek part without um any other worlds even though i have already updated four three four worlds um as for now so those are the um oasis springs new crest and also moon with meal and also um i think for next save file i'm going to include sulani and also tortosa into my save file just because i've had a collab that revamped those two worlds but they don't include in the save file so i hope you understand that but that's just a little info on the save file if you have any thoughts on this save file or maybe you have suggestions for my upcoming save file i'm very open to feedbacks and i'd love to know what you think about this save file and um on this blog post um i have this kind of like a mini tutorial i would say on how to download the save file basically we have two links for the download uh save file links the first one is the willow creek base game only save file it has like a uh, a link here and it is slot number five and also the other one is the mega save file download that will include willow creek oasis spring new crest and moonwood mill and it is uh, the slot number 111 and make sure to back up your saves um, it's very important because we have to prevent bad things happen to our saves and it's easy to back up your saves um, just like copy it to any folder that you have in your pc or mac and i have to say that i am terribly sorry for you who are um, console players because there is no way to download the c file but on this blog post i have every single link to the gallery um, for the builds and also the household for you to download it manually one by one i know it's a bit of work but that is the only way to make it um, possible so um yeah and once you put the save file into your save folder if you have the exact number of the slot um, remember that i have slot number five for the willow creek um, version and slot number 111 for the mega save file version if you have saves that exactly those numbers make sure to change one of them maybe the number five into like number 15 or 111 to be 116 or any numbers basically but it has to be eight digits total so it should be slot underscore and then uh, followed by eight numbers that's basically how it works and i think i'm going to open up my game now so you can see how it looks like in game 
Alright, so we're in game now and as you can tell that this is the home page and if you press the load game button you can see there are two version and both shown uh, with the goats family and the first one is the willow creek safe version it's the base game version and the other one is the mega save file that i have other worlds too on this save file but um just for this overview video i'm going to use the willow creek save and if you'd like to you can just like um copy this save file and maybe keep it as the template and also um create a brand new save file so it won't affect the save that you have in your game and we're just gonna hit the play button and we'll see the whole world so this is how the world looks like and as you can tell every single world is filled in with brand new builds and um, families and um, we have six regions technically five but six um, kind of regions so we have the uh, family house over here the the standard family house and we have the more luxurious family house over here this is the more modern area and we have the community lots over here so we're going to tour one by one and i will also put the name who created the townies on the top i'm not sure top left or top right on the screen just if you like to grab the household you can find it from their id we're going to start from this neighborhood so um we have to set our houses over here this one um and this one and we also have another starter not starter but more like budget house under forty thousand simoleons over here and i changed the address or lot names on each um lot so this area will be foundry cove street and that's because this is the foundry cove neighborhood and over here we have the courtyard lane because this is the courtyard lane neighborhood this one is the um pendula view and it's going to be for more expensive like old house something like that and we have the modern area over here and this is the sage street i think oh no sage sage estates avenue um just has two house and the community lots so we're just gonna start from this over here okay so this is uh the foundry cove street number 110 this is the starter house and as you can tell it looks like this it's very very simple and um it has one bedroom i'm pretty sure and one bathroom yeah one bedroom and one bathroom and this is the starter house so it will cost you a little under eighteen thousand simoleons but um yeah this is the starter house we're going to move on to the next lot all right so we're here in the 111 foundry cove street and it's still another um starter house it also has one bedroom and one bathroom i'm pretty sure so but it's not like it's empty it's it looks packed with furniture, which i love and um if you're wondering these two are the um starter house so we're going to move on to the lot over here and it's going to be the bff household house okay so we're here in the 11 and 12 foundry co street and this is the um house for the bff household and it's a very iconic household but um the house looks like this it's a two-story house and um this is the inside so once you enter you can see oops this is summer holiday and i'm pretty sure this household was created by sim Pfizer, so say hi to him um because he creates such amazing sims and um basically i asked them to kind of revamp the um, household but without removing their like iconic features and i think this still looks like summer but without the boring blue stripe clothes um so we have summer over here and we have oh this is the dining room this is the kitchen area and why is this here um we have the bathroom two bathrooms actually and we have the um travis's bedroom here where are they um okay travis is over here this is the summer's bedroom and we have another bathroom upstairs and this is the liberty lee's um bedroom and liberty is over here so 
there she is focusing on the chess table but um this is the house so it looks like this it's very simple and i'm gonna change the weather just a bit okay that's perfect so it looks like this and this is the bff house and also again the townies is made by sim visor so we're going to move on to this lot over here and it is a huge family house okay so we're in 114 foundry cove street house and this is the house of the schmidt household and it is a rather big house so we have um this building over here and we have the side yard and also the backyard so this family is consists of five and it has the father the mother the um, kids two kids and also a niece and once you enter the house it looks like this this is the entryway we have a um, powder room slash bathroom like half bathroom over here we have the um, dining area and this is the who are you oh julie williams um bedroom and it looks like this this is the kitchen a very small kitchen but it's it has everything i'm not sure why we have this um thing all over the builds because this one and the other one the first one has this but um yeah we have the bathroom and over here this is the living space and this is um leo schmidt which is the father of the household and um these are the mother this is the mother and also this is their daughter and um this is the living space and also upstairs we have um this is the landing we have the bathroom here and we have three bedrooms so this is sam's bedroom it looks like this and also this one is um who are you sophie's bedroom it looks like this it's very pink and this is the parents bedroom i'm not sure why are you here julie but it's not belong to you this is the parents bedroom but um yeah i have the autonomy on so it might happen but anyway um let's tour about the build so this is the backyard it has a little like garden area and we have the side yard with a little pool and a diamond shaped pool and some like sand pit and also the outdoor um dining space and that is the house and we're going to move on to the other um lot which is the last lot for this neighborhood and it's going to be a park over here okay so this is the foundry cove park it looks like this it's very simple and very small park um but it has this kind of like um, gazebo area i would say um that has a chest table and also some dining area and we have the jungle gym over here and please keep in mind this safe won't have any infants because i planned everything way before we have the announcement for infants update and there will be no infants at all on this save file i hope you're okay with that um but i'm going to include infants on my future save files for sure but just for this one we don't have any i am so sorry about that but um anyway um this is the park and as you can tell we have some like skill building items over here the jungle gym the easels the bonsai tree um we have the outdoor dining and the woodworking table and there's a, a toilet over here and this is basically it for this neighborhood the foundry cove neighborhood and we're going to move on to the next neighborhood which is the courtyard lane okay so we're on the first house and before i talk more about the build and the household i am very sorry if you heard any fireworks sounds on the back um that's just because uh, tomorrow is 8 and we have a ton of fireworks going on right now i am so sorry but i hope my microphone doesn't pick that voice and yeah let's just talk about the build so um this is the house of dennis and also jermaine so there are two like roommates and dennis is actually a freelancer in programming branch and um jermaine is an office assistant as you can tell over here and um this is their house so they're friends their roommates and um this is the living space as you can tell um jermaine is over here and we have a bathroom over here as you can see we have this kind of like a walkway slash um 
hallway over here slash closet and we have the Dennis's bedroom here it looks like this it's so adorable and also we have the kitchen slash dining area over here and I have to say when I first posted this build to the gallery I forgot to put the fridge on the house so the house isn't functional but um, I made sure to put one here so it has to be functional and I play tested everything a bunch of times so this is functional and we have what are you doing here um, this is your main bedroom but I'm not sure why Dennis is here and also this household is created by Simmer Swan and she actually um, sent me a voice message on Twitter on how to say Dennis's last name and I am a hundred percent sure I'm going to miss say it so um yeah i just decided not to say the name but it looks like this um and also german last name is just coleman so i know how to say it but this um dennis one i'm not sure how to say it so i am truly sorry about that but i just don't want to miss say anything but this is the house of dennis and german and the household is created by simmers one and we're going to move on to the house next door which is this one over here and it's going to be the pancakes house okay so we're in the pancakes house and the pancakes is updated by Melo B games and this is the house this is how it looks like and once you enter the house you can see the entryway and we have the, the dining area over here i went for more traditional looking interior and we have the kitchen so we have bob and eliza's here and i'm so happy seeing eliza scrubbing the bar thing to make it squeaky clean and bob is like cooking i don't know grilled cheese maybe and we have a bathroom here it looks like this and we also have um the office space that can be accessed from the living room and this is the living room it's rather long and tiny but it works just fine and upstairs we have um this is the landing area and we have um bob's bedroom over here um i went for more like brownie beigey color and um we have the bathroom and i think it's exclusively for bob because Eliza has a non suite so this is Eliza's bedroom I went for more pinky um, color and this is the unsweet bathroom and that's just the build but on the back we have uh, like outdoor uh, dining area and I did put some like planter boxes here and that's basically the build so we're going to move on to the other um, house next door which is this one over here and it's going to be a budget house okay so this is the house it looks like this is a two-story budget house and i'm pretty sure it costs you less than forty thousand simoleons yeah this is thirty six thousand simoleon ish and it has two bedrooms and two bathrooms i'm pretty sure it looks like this so once you enter the house you can see the living space it's a small living space but it's more compact not like too cramped which i love and we have a very small uh, kitchen slash breakfast area and this is the dining space and i did put like a toddler's um, chair here because i think it looks really cute and uh, and we have um like a hallway here and we have the bathroom um this is the downstairs bathroom and upstairs we have a landing area over here it's very long and narrow um landing space and we have another bathroom but this one has a top so if you'd like to have toddlers or infants um i got you covered and um this is the kids slash toddlers bedroom and um this is how it looks like and we have another bedroom for the parents so that's it that's the interior and on the back um we have the sand pit for the kids and we have an outdoor dining and also the back has a direct access to the front part of the build so you don't have to access it from the um inside of the house and that's basically it for this house we're going to move on to the next um house which is this one over here okay so this is the house of cortez family it looks like this it's a very basic suburban and um this family consists of five sims so we have the parents two parents and we have the um on we also have two kids and once you enter 
the house you can see there's this entryway and we have the um the office space area and also we have the kitchen and dining over here so it's in one giant room and we have the um gabriella's bedroom over here and i have to mention this but this household is created by sim visors and um this is basically the gabriella's um bedroom and she is the sister of um nicholas nicholas is married to paul and they have two kids so zoe and zach are the kids of nicholas and paul and um this is the bathroom the downstairs bathroom and we have the living space here so we have paul over here he looks like this he's so adorable and um that's the downstairs and on the upstairs we have this is the landing area and this is zoe's bedroom it looks like this very green and cute and we have zach's bedroom it's very sport team and they share the bathroom this is a jack and jill bathroom for the kids and we have another bedroom which is the unsuite and this is why are you here so zoe is over here on um her parents bedroom but this is um nicholas and zoe and this is the um unsuite bathroom and it looks like this and as for the back it uh it has a sandpit area and zach is actually over here he's so cute and um this is the outdoor dining and the um lounge area and that's basically it we're going to move on to the last um house for this neighborhood and it is this one over here all right so this is the chance family and i have to mention this but when i was play testing this build there was a fire accident happened so um that's why they are very tense right now and also um two of them are not in the lot but that's what happened when you turn off the autonomy um but this is the the townhouse i would say so it's actually one house but you can maybe just like split them so maybe uh, the parents can the parents and the kids can live here and also the grandparents live here maybe you can um create your own stories and this household is actually created by melody games and um we have two house but this house is empty but i did put some like um appliances and very uh, basic stuff like the curtains the bathroom plumbing things and also the kitchen and fireplace and that's it and um as for the house this is the one that is filled with um furnitures and once you enter the house you can see there's the entryway and this is the living space so we have um who are you and we have erica here she's very late to school i am so so sorry because there was a fire accident happening um and um we have a bathroom here we have the kitchen and dining and i'm not sure why we have so many food over here um we have the kitchen the bar and the dining and we have the um hallway to the back and this is the grandparents bedroom and the grandparents name is actually edgar and why is he on the god's house i'm not sure but um on the upstairs we have um three more bedrooms so this is the landing area and we have the parents bedroom which is uh, kristen and also gabriel shan's bedroom and they have a nun suite bathroom and um this one is actually the son's bedroom and his name is reese i think that's how you say it and um we have another bedroom for erica and they shared a bathroom so it's again it's a jack and jill bathroom for both reese and erica and on the back um we have another food i don't understand why we have so much food but um this is the back and we have an outdoor space we have the what is this monkey bar and a nasal and that's basically it so even though this is a townhouse it's actually like a one house and that's it for this neighborhood we're going to move to the next neighborhood in just a second okay so we're in the third neighborhood and this is the more luxurious fancy neighborhood area over here and um first we're going to tour the god's house and i am very excited about this because 
the outside may look a bit dark but on the inside it looks very different um but it looks like this and of course this is the gods family and i am the one who updated the the family the gods family but i didn't change anything except just for the clothes because i am very worried there will be some of you that don't really enjoy my uh, updated gods because i know for sure when the team the sims team updated the gods family um there were mixed reviews and i try to avoid that so i try to keep the gods family as is especially because they just got updated not too long time ago so i hope you're okay with that and we're going to tour the house now so once you enter the house um there will be a red team and black red and black theme going on happening and this is the entryway and if you go to the left part you can see this is the living space and actually funny story when i was playtesting this build um there was another fire accident happening and um, the fireplace burned down the coffee table and also the 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 rug so um, there were a lot of things going on but um it's all fixed now so we have cassandra and bella over here and we have a, a another uh, hallway and it has a bathroom over here so this is the kitchen um the kitchen looks like this it's very simple black and white theme and we have a formal dining over here it's very bella themed and upstairs are um we have the bedrooms so um gods is not gods but mornimer is actually over here and um this area is the like kids area so we have the bathroom and we have the um we have alexander's bedroom here and cassandra's bedroom over here and also mortimer and bella's bedroom over here and they also have uh, a bathroom like a non-suit bathroom even though it's very small but um that's the interior and on the back it looks like this very simple very different but it looks very god team but we're going to move on to the next house which is this one over here okay so we're in here this is the newman's family's house and it looks like this and actually i was inspired by the son of music when i created this house and also that's why we have a father with their seven kids um but once you enter the house you have this like very fancy grand entrance which looks like this and on the side we have the living space a huge living space over here and we have uh, the dining formal dining room over here it has a ton of like hallway um, that leads you to the the kitchen and dining area so the dining part over here is where they mainly eat but if they have I don't know something fancy like like parties or whatever they can do it here and we have a bathroom and also um, there's another like entryway to the back that also um has another hallway <laughs> i am so sorry there's so much hallways here um but this is the first bedroom and i'm pretty sure this is for the older son's bedroom and on the upstairs we have the office space it looks like this oh it's so adorable i love this and um on this wing we have a bathroom we have the toddler's bedroom and also the kids bedroom and on the other wing we have another bathroom and um this bathroom is actually a master suite and this is the um, father's bedroom and his name is theo and we have the older sister um bedroom over here so this is alina's bedroom and that's basically the house and on the back it has a giant pool so i thought that maybe they're very rich and they have a lot of money of course and they decided just to have a ton of backyard space and we have this so lounge chairs sand pit pool outdoor dining even the bar and they even have garage that i filled with uh, Thing, like the sig and also another car because it's very makes sense to have another cars and that's basically this house we're going to move on to this um this house over here okay so this is the tv household's house and it's more modern than the other two that we just toured um it looks like this um 
but I thought that this family was like I don't know like a grand great grandchildren of Princess Cordelia maybe so they're kind of related to Princess Cordelia and they decided to live here and this is the house and um, once you enter the house you can see there's the entryway and we have the huge kitchen over here and we also have a, a dining space and um we have a living space and also like a i don't know like a music area over here this is actually like a extension but it has like a glass roofing which i think looks really cool and we have a, an office space and also before i forget this household is created by simmer swan and i love this so much they look very expensive in a way that it just makes sense for this house and upstairs we have the landing part the landing area and this is um colin's bedroom i'm not sure why is carolyn over here i don't know why but this is colin's bedroom and he has uh he shared the bathroom with his sister which is charlotte and um this is the master bedroom over here it looks very fancy and it has a a, a non-suite it looks like this and on the back i decided to put the hot tub which is so silly but i love it and um, we have an outdoor dining and a giant pool and again another lounge chairs and that's basically it for the house we're going to move on to the last lot for this neighborhood and it's going to be a museum over here all right so this is the princess cordelia's museum so i thought that this might be princess cordelia's old house like summer holiday house or something like that but since she died the family decided just to turn this house into like a private museum of hers and this is how it looks like so it's a rather small um museum but once you enter the house you can see there are a ton of like paintings and statues and like private collection of her jewelries maybe um it looks like this and this is another wing of the build and this is like the music room i thought that maybe princess cordelia loved to play piano and maybe she was a very musical talented sim or person whatever it is and upstairs we have this area this is the landing and we have this kind of like a uh like statue area and we have a bathroom over here and we have this kind of like a painting area room creative room i'm not sure what to call this but it's basically like a room that you can seems um can i don't know maybe like just do this kind of like a painting class or woodworking class or like crafting class something like that um it's over here and on the back it looks so simple it just looks like this and that's basically it for this neighborhood um so we're going to move on to the fourth neighborhood okay so we're in the spencer kim louis house and it's located on the 510 sage estate avenue and it looks like this so i decided just to turn their house into something more modern and um this household is actually re-updated by simmer swan and um we have a tiny pond over here like fountain and a little pond and there are two um entries so the kitchen entry and the main entry and once you enter the house you can see there's this kind of like a i don't know entryway very grande entryway and um we have the dining space over here and um this is vivian lewis and we have the kitchen a very huge kitchen which i really love again i am so sorry about this because we have a ton of this going on on my build um, because i turn on the autonomy and we have this kind of like a breakfast um, corner and we have a bathroom because i wanted to have like a bathroom that can be easily accessed from the outside if they just finish swimming and they're wet they can just like you know um take a shower here on the bathrooms even though it doesn't really matter in the sims but in real life it does matter a lot and on the other wing we have the living space oops sorry this is the living space very huge living space and we also have this kind of like an office corner and over here we have um 
Vivian's bedroom that has a an ensuite bathroom and we have another bathroom but this is just like um, like a powder room so it's a half bathroom and upstairs we have this is the landing area I love this build so much um, this is the landing area and we have the um, bathroom over here so it's a public bathroom so it can be accessed from the the landing area and we have Olivia um, bedroom over here it's so cute i love this so much and we have a gym which is not necessary but kind of fancy which i like and we have two more bedrooms so this is dennis's bedroom i'm pretty sure yeah dennis's bedroom it looks like this very simple very basic and we have the master bedroom which is um alice's and eric's um bedroom so it has this kind of like a walk-in closet sort of even though it doesn't really matter in the sims but i try to make it looks like it has this walk-in closet and we also have a, a bathroom like a like a non-sweet bathroom over here and on the back um we have this huge pool and also with a top hot top i mean and we have this kind of like a platform part which has the outdoor dining and the planter boxes and also the grill so that is the house and this is going to be the last um house after this we're just gonna tour the community lots part so we're gonna start with this one over here okay so this is actually a willow creek grand hotel even though um just for the sake of the gameplay i decided to put this as a lounge not as a rental because it will be extremely expensive for you to rent and it will be much more um, gameplay friendly for lounge because you have a ton of sims here so it will look a bit more make sense and it looks like this it's a two-story building and uh, whoops sorry once you enter the build you can see there's this kind of like a, a main lobby area and this looks like this so on the area we have the um hotel rooms and over here we have the gym so we're gonna do the gyms first and um on the gym it looks like this of course we have a ton of gym equipments but i did put some like rug to kind of play pretend this as a yoga mat uh but on this side we have two um bathrooms so this is the gym's bathroom and also we have the lockers and on this side we have a bathroom so it looks like this and we have two bedrooms two hotel rooms so this one and this one and they both have um one um bathrooms but this room over here has a direct access to the back and also on the upstairs i did put more bedrooms or more hotel rooms but the layout is a bit different so this one has two double beds this one have two single beds and there are also some more here so this one has one um double bed and two single single beds and we have this kind of fake um restaurant over here it looks like this um but yeah this is the restaurant and it has like an outdoor space so maybe you'd like to i don't know like do the bonsai tree or um i don't know maybe just like hang out here you can do that and on the back we have a huge pool and this is the pool so we have also a hot, a hot tub and there's this room and it has the um bathroom like the shower room for the pool maybe you just want to change here and i don't know like shower here and that's basically the build uh this is the wheel of Creek grand hotel and it is again tacked as a lounge so i'm going to move on to the next uh, neighborhood which is the community lost neighborhood okay so we're in the last neighborhood and this is the wedding venue so i thought that um it's going to be like an old town hall that 
actually repurposed as a wedding venue so it looks kind of old-ish and it looks like this so once you enter the house or not the house but the building you can see the kind of like a reception reception front desk area like over here the entryway we have a bathroom like a powder room um with toilet and um sink and on the left we have the whoops we have the wedding in inside indoor wedding over here so it looks like this and um i did put the piano here and a bunch of seating and on the other wing we have the reception area so i kind of put this fake dance floor which i think looks really cute and we have a bar over here and also the the seating space for you to i don't know like eat something and on the upstairs we have this kind of like a prep area so we have the the landing space over here and this is the kitchen i decided to put the kitchen here so if you'd like to i don't know bake your wedding cake or cook some meals for the guests you can do it here and we also have a bathroom and on the other wing we have um the bride's kind of suit so you can i don't know maybe just like do your makeup here change your wedding gown here and maybe just like i don't know like prep before the wedding time the ceremony and this is the um a bathroom it's a rather large bathroom but i think it looks really nice here and um and for the back we have another wedding space but it is for the um like outdoor wedding it looks like this i think it looks really pretty let me just show you see it looks really really pretty it looks so nice and i think it looks really cute and that's basically it for this um wedding venue we're going to move on to the next lot okay so we're here in the blue velvet i didn't change the name of the lot because i think it just perfectly fine but it's actually can work both as um, a bar and also a nightclub because i wanted it that way and i made sure that it works both ways and um this is the front side so we have this kind of like an outdoor seating and we have the bar area which i think looks really fancy which i love it looks like this and over here on the back we have the bathroom so it has two bathrooms and upstairs is actually um has two parts so this one is kind of like the private lounge for the vip guests maybe and they have another bathroom and this one over here is i thought that this supposed to look like the staff office area so um the staff can access this area by um you know like going upstairs from the back and going inside here so we have the entry over here and this is the office space so maybe this is the manager like office space and this is the staff area and on the last floor we'll have two smaller apartments so i thought that it's supposed to be for the manager and one of the staff maybe like the senior staff or i don't know but this is the manager's um the first apartment or the manager's apartment so it is like a very long and skinny apartment but the bedroom is actually kind of decent size it is a one bedroom one bathroom apartment and also we have another apartment but it is another small apartment so we have this small it's super super small but i have play tested this they work just fine and it's again a one bedroom one bathroom situation and that's it for the build so it has a bar a nightclub and also two small apartments and they all work just fine so this is the um back as you can tell it looks like this we have a telescope and also a chest table because the very top floor is apartment floor and um it looks really nice i think so we're going to move on to this lot next door which is the library okay so this is the library and um can't you believe it that this got max's faith i am still very surprised by now but i'm so grateful that it got the max's faith so it can be downloaded by many more players and this is a base game of course a base game um library and cafe but cafe is actually exclusive for get together i'm pretty sure because it has this kind of like an espresso machine thing and also the pastry thing that are exclusive for get together and we don't have it here 
and base game but if you'd like to make this work as a cafe you can simply put those items here but we're going to start with the whoops we're going to start with the cafe part and this is the cafe part so it looks like this and we have the bar area here we have a bunch of seating and more cozier seating space over here and we have the kitchen here so if you'd like to make this as i don't know maybe like a restaurant or a cafe i got you covered because everything's possible here we have this the stuff um corner and the toilet over here and upstairs is the library so it looks like this so we have the librarian um corner we have the kind of like a i don't know like a common reading area and we have the pc desk area here we have a toilet here and very on the very top floor we have the kids um, section so it has everything you might need it and please keep in mind i built this way before the infants update so there were no like um, gate thing for the infants but if you'd like to do some changes you're more than welcome to do that and we have this kind of like a cozy corner maybe the parents can sit here while they watch their kids and um on the back it looks like this so it has um like two easels a telescope for skill building purposes and a more sitting space for you to read and that's basically it for um the library and we're going to move on to the next lot over here okay so we're in the last lot of this neighborhood and it is a gym and a pool so um it can be used as both gym and pool but i put this as a gym on the gallery and it looks like this i know this looks kind of similar with this but that's the main goal to make it looks kind of like belongs in the same neighborhood and it looks like this so um once you enter the build you can see there's this kind of like a front desk area with the seating room not room but seating space for the guests and we have the indoor pool this is actually my first time doing indoor pools so i'm very welcome to your feedback and also this video the build for this video isn't published yet by the time i do this tour so i'm still nervous about this build but anyway um this is the indoor pool and we have the shower locker gym maria over here and uh that's the first floor and upstairs we have the gym equipments area over here so we have the weightlifting machines we have the boxing thing and the um what is this the, the, the treadmills and some tv and also stereos to make your sims in better mood light and um on the very top level we have this kind of like a bar slash cafeteria area so if you'd like to grab some meals or maybe just like cook some salad i don't know you can do it here um but this is the cafeteria area and we have this kind of a studio space um sort of but i put this rug from base game of course to make it look like like a yoga studio sort of thing but that's basically the build and um on the back it looks very simple it looks just like this and with some side um seating space and that's basically it so this is the last build for this neighborhood we're going to do the last very very last build for the whole world which is the park and i'm very excited about that okay so we're in the magnolia blossom park and i have to mention one thing a few seconds ago um i noticed that all of the terrain paints that is painted on this build um we're gone and i had to replace it from the library from my library so if it happened to you um you can just simply replace it but i am a hundred percent sure that the terrain paints were okay were in place and it just it's basically like gone missing that the second i load this build so i am so sorry if it happens to you but you can simply just replace it from my library and you'll be good to go but again this is the magnolia blossom park and oh my god i really love this park so much so it looks like this um and i divide it into um, a few sections so we have the jungle gym kit area over here and normally there will be a lot of fountain going on but since i have no sims here it's not on but um we have the jungle gym we have this kind of like a i don't know like sports space maybe so you can do yoga here or basically like any other sport 
activities here with the instructor stage two even and um oops we have the uh we have the picnic area with some game table or maybe just like one game table and also two chess tables and six outdoor dining and some grills and we have the easels over here and we have a building over here and this area has a bar so if you'd like to i don't know maybe like grab some snacks you can do it here and we have the bathrooms here so um i did put the the what is this the shower top for toddlers and also the toddlers potty um for the toddlers of course and upstairs we have this kind of like a gardening section with also the extension for the kids um tower this one and also the tower part for you to you know like see the um stars and stuff with the telescopes and that's basically it that is the build this is the final build i am so happy that i finally can share this to you and again and I just want to say huge, huge thank you to SimmerSwan, SimVisor, and also Melobi Games for helping me create the townies. And please go check them out. Uh, you can find them on Instagram and also Twitter. And I hope you had a ton of fun doing the tour with me. And also I hope the builds, the sims, and also the save file especially is useful to your game and also you can have a ton of fun playing with them and one more thing um the next time will be brindleton bay and i have done like four or five builds for the world so i hope i can share it in like four four ish months and yeah i think that's it i really hope you find this video inspiring and also the build and the sims and the safe values for your game and if you do please make sure to hit the thumbs up button also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to you can also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time i have a new video posted i'm very happy to share this with you and yeah i'm going to go now thank you so very much for hanging out with me today and always supporting me your support means the world to me and i hope you have the very best day and i'll see you very soon bye i saw you from across the room when our eyes met i never knew.